Hey, what's happening, ladies and gentlemen? We are back. Another episode of REOP. You know what time it is. It's your boy, Mr. Jefferson. Yes, sir. Your boy, Amphor Valley. So usually, man, we, we take the weekends off, man. Yeah. But we had to open up shop for the for the big homie, man. Yes, indeed. This is this is a special one. It's an exciting episode. So Joe hit me up. He was like, you want to you, you wanna interview a nigga that used to work for Elon Musk? <laughs> I said, hell yeah, nigga. I love space. I love all that shit. Yeah. Bro, I was... I, I, <laughs> I was like, man, this will be a huge episode for us. So let's go ahead and <laughs> lock this See, in as quick yeah, as we can. Yeah. Hey, man, we, you know, we're not allowed to say his name anymore. But, man, I done said a million times, man, I'm a Joe Rogan disciple. Right, right. I'm one of the, he one of the many reasons why I even podcast. So Pioneer I, I told, I told Amp, I say, man, you about to be on your Joe Rogan I feel like this is, this one, I feel man. like this episode in the Joe Rogan bag. So I said, yeah, yeah, let's go ahead, let's go ahead yeah. and do it, man. So let's go ahead and introduce our guests. Where you from? All that shit, man. Yeah, man. It's uh, Benny Tarantino, man. I hail from Little Rock, Arkansas, man. If I ever went to the death of me, you know. Uh, city boy, country boy. You know, good living. You know, hop in the city during the day, hop in the city during the night. Uh, weekends, four wheeling and shit. You know, it it get it popping back home. Like I love the city. Shout out to the bitty. I heard yeah. that. I heard that. So yeah, man. Um, Let's dive right in. I'm, I'm I'm excited as hell to ask these questions. So first off, man, how did you get started into like your space exploration? Uh, so honestly, my pops was working. Um, he was working for SpaceX back in 2018. Okay. I was back at the crib in 2018. I ain't know I ain't know shit about it. You know, I ain't even know y'all was a space coast until I got to this motherfucker. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> like, this shit, shit was crazy. You know, you wake up, rockets and shit flying in the middle of the night. You like, everything's shaking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's crazy. Uh, but yeah, Pops was working, man. Uh, he sent me a, a, a application. I filled out the motherfucker application. I've always been a working motherfucker. Like, no matter what it was, like, we're going to run the show up. Like, right, right. That's the whole plan. Uh, but yeah, I filled out the application, man. Shout out to my boy Ro. Ro still worked there. Uh, he pushed my application, like pushed it, like pushed it through. Like I was like, damn, like filled out application on a Monday. He pushed it through on a Thursday. Word. Yeah, that's some real shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We was down here for a uh, family vacation, July 4th through like the 8th yeah. or some shit like that. Uh, shit, I put it in on like the 2nd. I got that bitch, the, uh, um, they call them shit, the acceptance letter on the 6th. Oh, that's, that's fire. On the 6th. Yeah. I started on the 15th. Man. Yeah, it was crazy. But yeah, shout out to Ro, shout out to Pops. But yeah, from there, man, I came in as a uh, lunch logistics specialist, basically just handling all inventory and shit. Right. Outbound, inbound shipments and shit. Uh, from there, I just grew. Grew all the way up into shit. I'm the nigga pushing the vehicle with the rocket on top. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm the one directing that motherfucker out of the hangar and shit. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like everything I did from when I started to now, I was hands on with it. Right. Like I got buku pictures, rockets, spaceships, fucking satellites, like shit big. Yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. it's big. Like I could imagine. Yeah. So a lot of NDAs. So you, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of NDAs. That's gonna be one of the questions. But uh, you said you wasn't like familiar with space and shit. Like, were you nervous applying for a job like that? Because some people may be like intimidated. Like, it's like Elon Musk company, like SpaceX and all that yeah, shit. Right. So you'd be a little, a little so, worried. So what were the accreditations as well? Like, what did you? What were the requirements you needed? So it was. It was like. If you had a bachelor's degree, it was cool. Like, you know, I went to college, so like, it was cool. But at the same time, what I went to school for when, when this shit. Right, right, right. You know, but I did have a lot of uh, order selecting stock and inventory background right. from uh, 2015 till 2018. So a lot of that helped me get through it. Yeah. But uh, I still got the text message to the day. Ro hit me up and was like, hey, if you a quarter of what your pops is, like, Tell me now and I'll push it through because we need you. Yeah. Shit. There it was up. Yeah. <laughs> shout out my boy Ro, man. Ro, Ro done had me. I was working there. Ro had me courtside at the Lando Magic and uh Heat game, bro. Word. That's like that's the that's the homie, bro. Yeah, like yeah. that's, the, that's the homie, bro. Straight up. So your pops was D have like a big experience working in like Yeah, pops been aviation background for probably twenty two plus years now. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh 
Pops. My parents had me at 16. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to say Pop started college around 95, 96, mm-hmm. some, some shit around there, but it was always aviation. Like, he always obsessed with planes. Like, he the homie that step outside and a plane come over, he look up and be like, see him 37. Yeah, yeah. Or on board air or some shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And you're like, damn, weird flex, my nigga, but cool. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, I know a few people like that. <laughs> yeah. But that, yeah, aviation background. So um, he was, he didn't do did everything, everything that you probably could do as far as aviation. So he wanted to switch it up. But the plot twist was like, he went to Rockets, but he, I don't think he understood. It was like, hey, it's a bunch of different type of planes. Like that shit changed every day. So you always doing some shit with a different type of plane every day. I don't think he understood that like Rockets, when you learn it, you learn it. It ain't really too much that you can tweak because you don't want no crazy anomaly in the sky and no big ball of fire blow up or some shit. You know what I'm saying? So I think when he came over to the rocket side of it, it got old to him quick. Mm-hmm. So then he ended up uh, leaving. So he left too. He left, I think he left last year. Oh, okay. Around Christmas time. Got you. But yeah. Crazy though, because I'm finna go to the company he had now too. <laughs> <laughs> so but he pr- he pretty saying. much left because he feel like he like knew everything he needed to know. He needed like a different yeah different yeah, experience. Like, yeah. like for sure, like it's, it was it was crazy. Like he he I ain't standing where I'm at today with you motherfuckers. If like he ain't do the shit he need to do, I yeah, tell you right, that. Right. Yeah, he set the foundation yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got shoes to fill, but shit. That's yeah. dope because you know most people when they get like a certain position, they just like stay there. They get like used oh, to yeah. it. They were like, I don't want no more challenges. Right, right. See, I'm here what I'm at. I'm just gonna stay here forever. And Fuck that's it. how that's how he was with the plane joints though. Like he was. Again, aviation for like 20, 22 plus years. Yeah, yeah. But like, again, airplane step outside, that's boom, boom, net. What yeah. the bam? Shit. With the rocket shit, I think like it was like, damn, this is it? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is it? <laughs> this shit kind of weak. You know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> damn, what else is it? It's like, shit, that's it. I, I go do this somewhere else where I'm happier at. Yeah. You know? Cause I know, man, I'm I'm not heavy in the spaceship, but I just be watching like the Elon shit, the SpaceX shit, and that shit just be challenging. I even watch like some Joe Rogan episodes <laughs> where they had like, like the big wigs from the company on there and whatnot talking about different shit. And I just be like, I be trying to retain information, but I be like, this is a lot. Hey, it's it's a lot, it's a lot, but like that's what like that's where I thrive at. I thrive in chaos. Okay. Like that's <laughs> that's the biggest reason for like my brand stay comfy. Like. Be comfortable in chaos. Like the most uncomfortable shit. Hey, just breathe, bro. You gonna get through it. Like, right? It's, it'll pass over, bro. It's a storm. It'll pass over, bro. You good? Like, just stay comfy, bro. That's like, that's, that's shit. it. Yeah. Well, hold on, Joe. Get the uh, round of applause real quick, man. Yeah, yeah. I forgot to applaud you, man. You one of the first guests, man. You had the whole, you had a flyer, everything. Everything, man. Like, <laughs> when we talked about the, doing the, uh, all right, so let's backtrack a bit. You know what I mean? Um, I did a rug for Benny, and I yes, thought that yes, that it yes. was so dope. You know what I mean? The logo and everything, you know what yeah. I mean? So I asked him about it when we was on the phone setting this up. I'm like, yo, what does the logo mean? Yeah. Go ahead and tell him. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, so I was, telling, I was telling Joe, like, you know, everybody be like, shit, they got a spear animal, they got this shit. I don't feel like my shit an animal. I feel like my shit is like a thunderstorm. Mm. Like that's how I feel. Like it's it's so much, it's it's a it's a deeper conversation, but like that's just how I feel. I feel like it's a I got a thunderstorm inside of me, you know. Everything, everything that a storm could bring, I feel like I could bring. Grow shit, tear shit down, you know, be beautiful to some people, smell beautiful to some people, you know. Right. Some people fear me, you know, some people respect me, some people know what I bring. You know what I'm saying? So that's just how I feel about it. Like it's a, I don't have an animal. I feel like I'm a thunderstorm. You feel like it's a thunderstorm because you say you like chaos and shit. Yeah. Thunderstorm kind of chaotic. Yeah. All over the place. Yeah. But it's it's, it's for a reason. You know, I ain't bringing hell or havoc on nobody just because. Right, right. You know, it's a, it's a, damn, I forgot, I forgot what the fuck I tweeted. I tweeted some shit today about, or some shit like that. But it was uh, basically just saying like, I'm mowing down anybody that, that feel like that opposition. Right. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't bring no disrespect, no harm to nobody. So, like, when it started coming my way, mm. shit. I ain't, I'm, I'm letting that shit loose now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Of course, yeah. yeah. You know, I'm trying to do numbers and remain humble, but some people make that shit hard. Right, right. On purpose. Yeah. Ain't lying. You know? So, um, we're going to talk about your brand in a second. I got some more questions. So, going into SpaceX and whatnot, so you a black man and whatnot. Did you have any, like, issues, like, maneuvering through the company as a black man? Because from the outside <laughs> looking in, like, that company just looks pure white. But I know they, they got some brothers in there. So, did you have any, like, did you have to feel like so, you had to work harder? I did. I did feel like I had to work harder. But at the same time, like, I knew, I took on it, I took on it to, like, the Kobe mentality of it. Yeah. Like basketball, ten percent physical, ninety right. percent mental. Right. I knew going in, it was like I was black, so it's gonna be hard to move up regardless. Right. But shit, you know, keep your head down, stay humble, do your work. Like everything be good. But I did, I did get fucked over though. I believe because I was black. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. I did. Motherfuckers brought a team of nine niggas in. I trained all of them, got them up to par. Was like, hey, fill out the team lead app. We're gonna see what we can do. I said, shit, say less. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking this is a gift. I'm two years in now. Oh, yeah, they're like, yeah, you know? this, this your challenge. You did it. You Come trained on. them nine people. It's up. me and my supervisor, nobody else. Yeah. They brought 10 niggas in. I had to train all them niggas and keep my efficiency yeah. up at work myself. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, I did that shit, filled it out. They gave it to a white mm-hmm. homie on a whole other team. And then Peep This was like, hey, train them. I said, <laughs> oh, no. All right. <laughs> Train who? Yeah. Nigga quit in three months. Why? Yeah, stop. Because the shit that I showed the other homies was like, hey, it's a difference between good and evil. Right, right. You can follow him. Technically, he is your lead. You can follow him. But shit, if you want to open your eyes up and really get the benefit of this whole company shit, right. shit, stick with me. Yeah. To this day, I fuck with them boys. They stuck with me. But he quit. Yeah. They quit. Yeah. That's usually what happened yeah. too, man. Yeah, he couldn't. What he couldn't handle the pressure or whatnot. Couldn't handle it, bro. Everything he said, niggas was like, "Shit!" It was basically like everything Joe say, and niggas be like, "I am." Should we do it? Yeah. And it's like, damn, Joe got the title. Why the fuck is niggas still looking at him? Yeah. That's how it was. He couldn't handle that shit. So yeah, that happened a lot. Yeah, that happened a lot of jobs. If you like, even if you like a boss and whatnot, you got management. If your if your employees don't got respect for you, they just they if they don't start off with respect, they never gonna have respect for you. Right, never right. gonna have it, bro. But I give it to him. No, I had this one dude. Uh, he was part of that nine, but he was calling me a nigga on the side. I had a little Irish homie that was working there, a little little uh, Celtic warrior, what I fucking called him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Had the little Thor long hair and shit, yeah, you yeah. know. <laughs> shit, he uh, was working with Seamus. Yeah, that ass. <laughs> 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 but yeah, he came to me was like, "Hey, buddy, 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 keep saying nigga. Like he keeps saying nigga." Damn. And I'm like, "Shit, you sure? Like I can't take this HR. Right, like if right. you ain't sure." So he was like, "Yeah, he's saying the shit." I was like, "Bet." I went and asked one of the other homies that had been there longest. Me, I'm like, "Hey, you ever heard him say a nigga?" And he was. He tells me he's like, "Yeah," but I told him he got to watch his audience. I said, "What the fuck does that mean?" What? Hey, took that motherfucker to HR on Tuesday. Motherfucker gone Friday. Uh, Straight up. So I can fuck. I can fuck with SpaceX that. for that. Yeah. Get these racist motherfuckers out yeah, of here. Yeah, get them. Get them the fuck up out of here. Pack them up. Yeah. On me. Good thing HR exists because uh, Elon was on some wild shit at one point. Hey. Elon was on some wild shit at he, one point. Elon the man, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Shit, that's, so a, that's you ain't that's have a no good, bad experience with Elon. That's a good I, I segue. Have, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get into the Elon bag, man. Yeah, yeah I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't have no bad experience with Elon. The first time I actually saw Elon, I was down at uh, this uh, place called Starbase down in Boca Chica, Texas. Working nights, man. I was visiting from here, from Cape Side. Uh, went down there to do set up logistics and shit for them motherfuckers. Right. Uh, went down there, bro. Next thing I know, I start seeing motherfuckers like, Start clearing out the building, clearing out the building, but ain't nobody saying shit. They just like walking out, but they all walking out from one direction. So it's like, you know, somebody coming and they running from them. Mm. Well, shit, I'm at the fucking uh, drink machine for the grab. This nigga me, Michael uh, Myers or something, bro, bro, <laughs> bro doesn't sleep. I got the man, I believe that. I man don't that. sleep. They say he work eighteen hours a day. 
that's it? That's all y'all heard? <laughs> that's what I said. That's, that's all that's y'all what I heard? Said. But no, nah, uh, so he he walks up. I'm getting Gatorade. He walks up. Motherfucker grabs a chocolate milk. Bro, I look up. It's fucking Elon Musk. Yeah. I understood who I worked for, like, the entire time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Right, right. But you don't expect to see but them up. When I look to my left and the CEO was grabbing a chocolate milk, motherfucker got to be like 6'3", 6'2", 6'3", 250. Yeah. Pale white. Edward, oh Edward yeah. Cullen, bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a fucking Twilight. That's crazy. Hell, motherfucker don't sleep, bro. He don't sleep. So I'm again down there. Uh, he loved everything black and white. Like black and white. Even the inside mm. of his jet, flew on the motherfucking jet four, five times. Badass. First, <laughs> PJ, first PJ. First PJ, bro. SpaceX up. introduced me to the PJ light. That's what's up. Hey, bro. you flew with Elon? Nah, nah, nah. I oh, you just was on the okay. I ain't, I ain't that high up. Uh, that, was a, that was above my pay grade. Right, right. But nah, it was, it's crazy though because I did sit in the seat. I sat in the seat. We flying. Um, I'm going from LA back to Cape. Uh, buddy comes out the uh, back and was like, "Hey, we're we're at altitude. Like you guys start getting up, go to the restroom. You can even adjust your seat so like you're facing each other, have a conversation." So motherfuckers is like, cool. So they sliding the seats out, twisting and turning and shit. And he was like, hey, you, sir, uh, just give me a second. I'll do yours myself. Just tell me how you want it. And I was like, I can't do my own? He was like, no, nah, that's the CEO seat. That's his favorite seat. So mm-hmm. you might just want to lead yours Yeah. and what it is. I was yeah. like, shit. I'm sitting in the PJ like this. I ain't touching yeah. shit. They're yeah. like, shit, you in Elon's seat. I'm like, shit. I'm, yeah, I'm sitting there. Fine. Fuck that. That's fine. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's dope though, but he he cool. You know, I respect him because like a lot of CEOs don't come check on their babies. Right. And by their babies, I mean their companies. Yeah. You know, they let the board is X and shit run their shit. Right, right. They just get everything on the back end. You know, yeah. respectable. But I respect him because he's there. Mm. He there front line. You know what I'm saying? He getting grimy with it. You know, he don't call himself a CEO. He called himself an engineer. Right. You know, and he's there making those differences. So I can respect I can respect that. Hmm. Elon, I went. I can't say Elon's the reason I left. That's not it. Yeah, you know, I fuck with Elon. I hear that. Would you say he's a good boss? I wouldn't know. I never worked under. Him, you know what okay. I'm saying? But I can respect him as a CEO for sure. Yeah. You know, I can, I can, I can respect him. Like, I don't worry. I didn't have to worry about nothing, insurance wise. You know, if it was just me and not my wife, all my shit be free. Yeah. You know, everything, vision, dental, everything, like a good life. Like he presents, he gives you a good life. You go to his company. Right. right. Yeah. That's some, that's some real good benefits. Cause like, even like his counterpart billionaires, like um, Jeff Bezos, he don't yeah. even offer shit like that. Yeah, no. Jeff don't give no fucks. Yeah. No. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you seen that no shit fucks. when he went to space? He was like, he said some shit. He was like, "Thank you to all my uh, my workers in the that, warehouse. Yeah, You're the reason possible. you made yeah. this possible for me." I was like, "Bro, what the fuck?" Like, nah, I'm glad you all are willing to accept the fifteen dollars an hour that I. Hey, paying. I will give it to Jeff though. So Jeff came out and gave uh, when they went to space, and it was successful. Came back, Jeff gave them boys ten thousand dollar bonuses. Motherfuckers went home with like seventy five hundred dollars. Who that? Mm-hmm. Shit, Blue Origin, his space company. Oh, that, that's oh yeah, the space company. Yeah. Now we talking about the niggas in the warehouse. Yeah, niggas in the oh, warehouse. Oh shit, they got niggas, niggas in the warehouse. Oh, they got. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Space space companies got warehouses for yeah. sure. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you, you know. So, yeah, we talking about the everyday plants. The niggas that's that's. <laughs> yeah, the niggas that were protesting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it do be a lot of protests though. Motherfuckers do be. It do be a lot of protests about this shit. Yeah. Oh, I can believe that. I can understand why too. Yeah. You know. Did you work with a lot of black people there? Nah, out of 20 people on the team, I was the only brother. Yeah. You know, that was another reason like I chose to leave because it's like, they got a buddy buddy system there, you know, it's no nepotism. Right, yeah. right, right. You feel like they were like leaving you out on certain things? Oh, never left out. I was always front running. You know, oh, like right. motherfuckers knew like who to go to when shit was needed to be done. Right, right. You know, right. I left SpaceX with 104 work efficiency. You know, oh, 104%. Shit, shit, I don't go to a hundred, shit. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? That's like, gonna look good on any resume. Yeah. Come no on, where, man. No matter yeah. where you go. Hey, what boy, what buddy say on Twitter? Bring me my money. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey. Straight up. Hey. Woo. 
Hey, he bring me my money. I had to get on out of that, man. So yeah, I had to leave, bro. But like, I fuck with Elon. I fuck with what he's doing. And they so, pay pretty well, I'd imagine. Yeah, space, space, aerospace company. Yeah, aerospace career field. Yeah, fuck with it. Yeah, fuck with it tough. Yeah, like I, I love the bitty, but shit, right here is where I'm gonna grow. Yeah, yeah straight up. I'm gonna grow right here. Up. Sure. How was it transitioning from uh, Alabama to like Florida and whatnot? Arkansas. Uh, Arkansas. Arkansas. But, uh, Arkansas. My fault. My fault. I my mean. fucking. Uh, it was. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Like I. I had a lot of shit. I had to work out. Like you know, you have to save some show up. Make sure everything's straight. You get here. You try to find a spot. Have a spot before you get here. Actually, you know what I'm saying. But uh, at the time, I had just proposed to my wife. Uh, August. What is it? August 22nd, that this year be two years married. Right. I've been with her for 14 years. That's what's That's up. What's yeah, up. high school yeah. sweetheart. Yeah, shout out baby, love you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was, it was it was, it was was easy. You know, again, like having a father figure I had that was already here. Right, right. Like, hey, A, B, C, and D, you had them lined up, you get here, stay with me for three months, you out. Straight up. And what you, that, that what I said, straight up. You're like, yeah, do it that way, you be here. <laughs> Hit it. Straight like that. Yeah. It's cool. It's cool, man. You have a plan. Like, it's crazy because a lot of people don't, I don't think a lot of people really believe in that manifestation shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I do. Yeah. I got a homie. I got a homie that, uh, 2018, I lost everything, had got evicted, car repo. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. The car repo people actually let me finish my work on Friday and told me to uh, just let them know when I get to the crib from work and they'll come pick it up. Yeah. So shout out to whoever the fuck repo my shit. <laughs> Y'all let me work that Friday, so it was cool. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. See yeah. that on the check, <laughs> you know. But yeah, I had a homie, man. I had a homie that sat with me, sat with me. 2018, bro. I manifested everything that I I got going right now. Yeah, straight he up. Can te- he can testify to that. Like, yeah, That's everything I said I was gonna do, I did it. Yeah, I'm the same way. I try and like speak everything into existence. Everything yeah. to ex- existence. Stay positive. Never be negative. Yeah. That shit worked. Stay comfy. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 yeah, for sure. Yeah, stay comfy. Yeah. yeah. Everything, bro. Believe in them affirmations that you put into the world. For real. Hey, man, you plugging that stay comfy. Let's go ahead and get into that, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get into you that gotta, brand, you man. Stay comfy, man. <laughs> Got to, bro. Uh, yeah, I've been working on stay comfy for probably five, five years now. Mm. Five years now. I do, uh, I suck at drawing. But like I'm a huge art connoisseur. Again, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Joe saw his work was like, gotta have it. Yeah, gotta have it. Gotta be branded. <laughs> gotta have it. But yeah, so I had just drew had just drew it out one day. Um, again, the thunderstorm. I felt like thunderstorm, so I wanted that to be in it. But I wanted to be electric too. Right. Like I wanted to be eye catching. Even if my shit wasn't on it, it didn't say stay comfy. I wanted motherfuckers to be like, damn, that's hard. Yeah, you yeah. Know? You know what I'm saying? So I drew it up. I had one of the uh, who was it? One of the guys my wife went to college with. He does the little logo digital art design right, joint. Right. She reached out to him. Shit, he brought it to life, and that was the end of it. That's you know, that's yeah. how I got the logo. But for right now, like, I got some shit in store. I'm finna uh, put in the production uh, next Wednesday. Okay. So shit, we should see uh, what that's about. It's gonna be my first installment called uh, Benny Tarantino. Fresh volume one, okay. No, uh, no E F R S H all uh, caps, you know. Uh, but it's cool though, they call it the bad tomatoes. Shit hard, That's you know. Dope. I, I, I tried to do my first volume on some uh, untundra type shit, you know. People be like, shit, life throw you lemons, make lemonade, right? Yeah. Right, so, right, you know, I'm chain doing shit with that, right? Right, uh, uh, apple a day. Uh, keep the doctor away. Straight I'm up. Do, I'm gonna do something with that. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? I even got like some crazy shit drawn up right now with like it's a a fucking orange and a tangerine kissing and Buddy roll in on the scene and see his <laughs> chick and he like, but Clementine. Clementine, <laughs> another type of orange and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just different yeah, words yeah. and different shit that all co-mingle together that bring like some fresh shit to life. Right, right. And it's fruit. Some fresh shit to life. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's probably gonna be my first installment. I'm gonna bring the bad tomatoes out. So you're uh, gonna see the boys, the bad tomatoes. <laughs> for sure, for sure. They ignorant. I hear that. <laughs> they ignorant, the bad tomatoes. So uh for the listeners, like what exactly is Stay Comfy and like what made you want to start it exactly? The brand. Uh so 
always, always value myself at trying to be different, but still being relatable. Right. You know, so for me, it was a, uh, always been an introvert, but I've always been able to like reach out to people with like my aura, always been real charismatic. Right. So for me, it was like, hey, how do I find a way to rock my own clothes, but still yet be humble? Not out here, hey, this what y'all need to be wearing, this my right, shit, right. I'm this, I'm this, I'm different. I just wanted some shit to be comfortable for me to wear, but still for somebody to reach out like, hey, shit, what that, that, yeah. what that is? Shit, yeah. this me, how I get that? Oh shit, this here, this here, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Get it that way. But yeah, I just I just always dare to be different. You know, a lot of people, um, they get into the merch field, they make it. I say that they lose their weight talent-wise. Mm -hmm. They start to really end up not being inspired by what they were inspired by and just start to uh, mimic it. Right, right. You know, inspiration is one thing, but copying is another. Yeah. I want it to be different that way. I hear that. I want it to have merch, but I wanted y'all to feel me and feel what I've been through in my life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So stay comfy, like comfy, clean, fresh, humble, you know, all that shit, all that shit. That's what I want it. Yeah, that's a dope name for it. I forward that heavy. For real. It's catchy so, as fuck. Yeah, and like you said, man, that's an amazing feeling when you like wearing your own shit. Your own man, shit. You go, you go out and they're like, damn, what's that? Yeah, straight you're up. Like, this right. is right here, you pull your phone out. I'm right here. Right Check here. Check all that shit it's, out. It's right here. That's what I like the hat, man. Shout out to my boy Uno. Revive Minds, man. Love that boy. Yes, sir. You can find that on reviveminds.com. He got boo cooties, but we finna drop some amazing shit. Yeah. Some amazing shit. Our own hats. Ain't no auto, no motherfucking 551s, no new eras. Like, Revive Minds. This, like, our hat. Right. Nobody right. else's. All in house made. So shit, you can stay you can stay in tune for that. Revivemonds.com. That's a that's a big one. This here, this is my favorite hat. Like it's dirty, dusty, and all up underneath and everything. Yeah, hey, you can't go wrong with a camel hat. Hey, camel yeah, hats yeah. literally go with anything. Anything, yeah. Hey, this, you this, this, this it. People right. people back in the day used to keep their orange peel. I keep this cap. Straight <laughs> up, straight <laughs> up. Hey, this cap. Yeah. 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 That's him. I know you said you was trying to st with your brain, you trying to stay original and whatnot. But is there like any other like clothing brands, like merch brands that you like look up to? Uh, so again, like I said earlier, I want to be an art connoisseur. So like, I want my things to be like, <clears throat> I want people to question it, but also be like, damn, I want to buy it. Right. Like right. why does Supreme have a two-step ladder for like in the house? Mm. Why does Supreme have a basketball? Why does mm -hmm. Supreme got a lamp? Mm -hmm. that's, what I'm, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be different but I also want to incorporate my love for art right, into right. the bigger things. I want my merch to lead to like my Ikea deals. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I want, I want your kids to go into their room and they got a stay comfy bedroom set. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Shit like that. The toothbrush kit and shit they got, stay comfy on them motherfuckers. Yeah. They cups, they lunch boxes. That's what, that's right. what we're going for. Like cars got the little figurines. Right. <laughs> Just wait on it. Stay comfy. How to figure rings? Right, yeah. right. You know. What yeah, I'm people judge Supreme and all that shit. Cause you know Supreme, they'll slap their name on pretty anything. much anything. anything. But like that's that's dope. Like to it, me, it's genius. They have motherfuckers buy like. Uh, I seen uh, at the barber shop I go to. It's a tool set. Um, and you can tell you can't use them tools for shit. Yeah. Nigga, you could slap Legos together with them tools. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Motherfuckers look good sitting there though, don't they? Yeah, but that name though. It's that sick. um that arcade behind you, the nah. Mortal Kombat one, they did a Supreme collab. That that arcade right there, that shit cost like three hundred dollars at the most, three fifty. Yeah. Right. Supreme slapped their logo on it, it's the exact same thing. That shit was like nine hundred dollars. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't, would I want my company to be that? Yeah. But would I inflate my community like that? No. Right. right. Yeah. Because I want everybody to have it. I want everybody to enjoy being comfy. You know what I'm saying? I don't want my shit to be like, damn, man, he rocking that shit. I ain't going to rock that shit today. No, both of you niggas put that stay comfy on. The niggas like, damn, you got the comfy too? Yeah. Right. Yeah. The way Cool Kai hit in the street, shout out Cool Kai. That's how I want my shit to hit. Like niggas, I, I'm a Jordan One fanatic heavy. Yeah. yeah. Like heavy. Yeah. The cool cars, I can fuck with them. Mm -hmm. 
You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. It's his own inspiration of the Jordan one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he taking it to a whole different level with it. That's how I feel like I want my shit to be. Yeah, and I like how he went uh, cool Kai, for example. Like, I like his merch better, like his clothes, like a lot of his flips and shit is real dope. The, the, the shoe's cool, but I like how he just stood his ground. Like Jordan was trying to sue him and whatnot. Yeah. He was like, fuck it. I'm going to keep dropping these shits. Keep dropping them in colors. Yeah. Like, you stay, can't stop me. Stay comfy. Exactly. Yeah. Stay comfy. Whatever he, whatever that man manifested into the universe, it came back because he was Straight original. Mm -hmm. He was Straight genuine. Up. Yeah. I was inspired by what you did, but I did something totally different with it. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 where I'm at with it. So let me go let's go back to SpaceX real quick. So anything like uh, for the SpaceX like business model that you apply in your company? Uh I would say yeah. Elon has this um this algorithm. It's called the Elon's algorithm. And it's basically like for people that say what's well, if it's broke, if it's not broke, don't, don't fix, fix it. it. Yeah. He don't believe in that. Like if it's a fine tuned machine, shit, keep looking at better ways to make it a better fine tuned machine. Yeah. I'm so efficient. with those six steps, I do apply those in my everyday company. I would let y'all know like what they are, but I can't give them to you right off my head. Right, right. right. You know, like it's it's a it's a mean it's a mean six step program like a motherfucking AA meeting. Yeah. Like it's 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 nice. Like, but I guess I give you a smooth rundown. Like it's basically like what you got understand how good it works, but understand what could be fixed on it. Right. For what could be fixed on it, analyze it, and take out everything that don't need to be there and see if it'll still run the same. Right. If it still runs the same, you can do away with those small details. You don't need them no more. Yeah. Even though those details got you to where you need to be, you don't need them no more. You outgrow them, you own those skills, take them out. You know what I'm saying? Any way to continue to be more efficient, be efficient. Efficiency supposed to top out at 100, but what I tell y'all, shit, I left at 104. So yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Dude, 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 up here, he liked that. He liked that. So yeah. walk us through a day, you know, a day in, in, in SpaceX. All right. <clears throat> I lit a crib, I lit a crib about 4, 4.45, get over to Cape Canaveral around 5, 5, 5.15, 520. Shit. Oh, man, I'm not a morning person at all. Oh shit. That should have kicked my ass. Yeah. It, it was it. We didn't have to start at six, but get there, be there at six. Uh hop on the laptop, see what your daily duties is. Majority of the time, it's gonna be uh, either you gotta drive with the rocket or you have a drive going to go get a rocket. So we we'll sit down. Look and see who on them drives. If not on them drives, should you either bring it in like satellites, truck drivers with engines and shit, um, the shit that carries the satellites in the space, you're escorting them drivers in. So I would say it's more like, it's honestly like an action packed film. Like we really like firefighters. Like when we get the call, it's like, hey, this hangar, so and so, they ready to drop the rocket on the transporter. Hey guys, let's go get the transporter. Drive that bitch over there. They drop the rocket on there. Take it to whatever hangar need to be. They take it off. <clears throat> take the transporter wherever hangar another rocket ready at. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like that, but think of it at an enormous fucking scale. Right, right. Like think of a fire truck at 200 feet. Yeah, you know. Yeah, <laughs> you got a 150 feet rocket on top of that bitch. Driving that bitch down regular high, regular uh, streets, that cars go down. That's crazy. Were you That's intimidated doing that? Man, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> that shit is is hella intimidating because one, you're in charge of a three hundred plus million dollar rocket. This rocket is supposed to take this three hundred million dollar set of satellites in the space. On this day, if you damage that rocket, <coughs> that's your ass. Au revoir. Yeah, yeah. See yeah. you later, my boy. Yeah, shit. Up. So yeah, it's a big ass responsibility. It is. It's a big responsibility. I'd imagine you could kiss your last check goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a it's a big responsibility. But I mean, take a big general to do that shit. Right, right. You know, yeah, if I if I fuck the rocket up, I just run. 
That shit. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I let somebody know. Joe said, I got a little dignity. I don't I, let somebody I, I, know. I'll take somebody like, hey, bro, I, I fucked, fucked up. I fucked up the rocket. Hey, don't worry. You ain't going to be. When you fuck it up, everybody will see it. But I'm gonna be gone. <laughs> it's good, it's that. Shit. It's that big. Yeah. Like yeah. when it moves, right. everybody sees it. Right. Like it moves. Like we shut down. We shut down streets on the Space Force base just to get it through. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's if you fucked it up, they'll know. Right. Somebody seen it. Yeah. A camera caught it. Yeah. So yeah, it, it's a huge responsibility. I could only imagine. Nigga, be like. What the fuck are y'all doing down there? <laughs> hey, 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 I swear to God. <laughs> swear to God, supervisors be like that on the cameras. Hey, check that rocket hey, out. Yeah, <laughs> hey, on the cameras. Buddy be like, hey, why y'all ain't left yet? And he's like, bro, you ain't even at work. He's like, I can see y'all on the camera. Why y'all ain't left yet? And it's like, damn, let's get this rocket the fuck up out this hangar. <laughs> Nigga in his pajamas calling shots. No, hey, hey, that ass in the pajamas, bro, calling shots. <laughs> calling yeah. shots. You have like like the the um, the uh, space shuttles that we take the astronauts in the capsule we take the actual humans in in the space, those move later at night, so it's less civilians around, and it's less casualties if something happens. Because okay. like those are those are carrying humans. It's a lot of shit that goes into those, so they move those in a uh, historic manner. Um, those nights, those be the nights that be like three, four, five in the morning, done nights. But you started at like five p.m. the next day, or the last day. So like you doing fourteen, fifteen hours for that. Those be the nights that supervisor call like in his pajamas. Hey, y'all ain't left yet, and it's like, bro, it's three in the morning. Like, what is you doing? I'm watching the camera. I ain't seen y'all move yet. It's like they ain't ready yet, bro. Go to sleep. Uh, you know, leave us alone. Yeah, <laughs> leave me, leave me the fuck up out of this. Besides Elon, is there any um, significant people that you got to work with? Um, uh, I say no, 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 no significant. Nah, Elon, Elon's by far the uh, best person I've met working at SpaceX. Like, is. As far as like that celebrity shit go, yeah, 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 you know, like I, you know, we hear about like the Joe Rogan shit, yeah, yeah you right, know, we right. hear about like the Amber Heard shit, right, you know, we hear about like just recent like him whipping his dick out and shit, but like when you see the dude, you're like, bro, he don't do that shit, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Amber Heard carried herself in a manner that'd be like, you did that shit, right, yeah. right, right, he right, won, right, you right. look at him, you're like. You don't get enough sleep to do that shit. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you're not. Come on, man. Yeah. So how was the office like? Well, the company like when that shit got announced. Like Elon, he had a little misconduct and whatnot. It's like everything else. Like you have his haters, yeah. and you have his people. That's like us. Like do that shit. Right, yeah. right, right. It's fun to talk about. You know, yeah, like we yeah, throw yeah. jokes and shit around. Mm. But like everybody, like he didn't do that shit. Yeah, it was like one of them. I think it's like the situation is like it's probably he didn't do it. But the issue is he they apparently he used the company money to pay the woman off. So that's you know where the saying? issue come from. Yeah. But I mean, hey, it's his company. Yeah. Fuck is we arguing about? Exactly. This is this is what I tell everybody. Make it as long point. as he keeps signing my checks and making sure my family paid and fed, fuck am I arguing with him for? Yeah, yeah, that's real. As long as he ain't doing shit you know what I'm towards saying? you directly. He ain't never right? called me on my name. Right. You know? To somebody who did call me out my name, he got him out the paint for me. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he makes sure I'm fair. He makes sure I can spoil my wife. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm I'm finna bring a fucking newborn in the world. Yeah. Congrats, he make man. look appreciate it appreciate it appreciate it. Yeah, bringing a new one in. But yeah, uh, he making sure everything's straight. Yeah, Elon was like, as a fellow African American, dead ass. <laughs> I, I can understand. I can understand the effects of him saying the N word to you. All right, so like this is this is this was always like one of my craziest questions. Like he's South African, right? So can he say nigga? Fuck, is it because of his? <laughs> is it because of his? So is it your pigmentation or is it your nationality? Is your plight? <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I, can, plight, yeah. I can sit. I can sit with that. I can sit with that. But if you, Elon really like, walked out, it was like, "What's good, my niggas." I don't know what I do. 
I'll I'm be, probably look at him and be like, shit, what's good, my nigga? <laughs> I'd definitely be stuck. I'd be like, you, hey. You I'll have be looking, to be. It'll call catch y'all go. Like, yeah. Because it came Did out. You just, it came out the way he wanted it to. I'm going to clean both ears. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to clean somebody, one at a time. Like somebody watching this like right now. Like, oh, these, these C words. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, let's be honest, bro. If Elon Musk came with his car, you're like, not going to swing on Elon Musk. Nah, yeah, bro, no. just, just, yeah. just, first off, he I'm got gonna these. I'm going to imagine that, uh, that there's going to be a bag coming after I heard the, 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 the slur. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he don't give a fuck about paying nobody. Right. Look at Tesla, bro. Tesla, like, hey. We call a nigga a nigga today, shit, in five years, he'll get 100 mil. Yeah. Cool. We're going to call him a nigga for five years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Elon will pay him, but we still got ours. Yeah. What's up, my nigga? Hey, bro, he calling me a nigga. So? He going to get paid in five years. He cool with that. You know? Elon pay everybody out of pocket. You know? Hey, one thing I can say, all these other rich That's motherfuckers, fuck. all these other rich motherfuckers, they don't pay taxes. Elon paid $11 billion in taxes. He ain't pay no goddamn eleven billion. He paid eleven billion in taxes. Ain't no way. Paid eleven billion in taxes. He just paid forty four billion for Twitter. Yeah, he worth three hundred billion. What's he? What, what's 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 he eleven cent to you? True indeed. You gotta get Grom some money. Yeah, you and know. I don't think they were married. Right. That's yeah. That shit still confused. Hey man, she put some witchcraft on him. She <laughs> did, bro. She a little alien, bro. Like, I don't know if y'all ever like tapped into her music. Nah. Untapped. Yeah, no, nah, I ain't. Yeah, you remember we seen Grimes at South by Southwest? Yeah, ridiculous. She was, she, I, was, she was performing in front of two hundred people. Next thing you know, she married to Elon. I don't know how that happened, bro. bro Elon has a crazy. strange roster under him. Amber Heard, Grimes, like what? Where's what kind of chemistry is that? Like, what algorithm is that? I wonder why he was fucking. Why he fucking with Amber Heard though? Shit, I don't know. Maybe he like being beat up. <laughs> Maybe he like some he what she was shitting on the bed. Yeah, I was gonna say, shit, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Shout out my nigga Johnny Depp. Yeah. yeah he about to get paid. Shit, Johnny he, Depp finna get that bag for hey, there he got 15 mil. Yeah, who? Um you talking about Amber? Uh uh-uh, uh, Johnny. Johnny yeah. got 15 mil. He yeah, went he for got, 50, he got 15. Yeah, he got 15, and apparently like she ain't got none of that money. I was like, damn, she ain't uh-huh. get no money off Elon. Shit. How? She ain't tricking right. You know what I'm saying? Elon ain't say shit. You know what I'm saying? It was whole lot of NDAs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whole lot of NDAs. That rich life crazy, man. That rich life scary. You said you a married man, but like having to go through like relationships and doing like everything con- contractually, yeah. gotta be like a pain in the ass. Right. It's, it's a like before y'all kiss, y'all gotta like hey, sign this. Sign this, sign this, this shit. I asked you, my man's them heard me ask you, you said yes. That shit. Nah, that ain't the that type of life I want. Fun. That ain't the type of life I want. That's a that's a mood killing shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Before you before before you ease her up <clears throat> and she ease up off them panties, you like sliding her a piece of paper. Yeah, you know you what I'm saying? Anything. She like what the fuck is this? It's an yeah. NDE, <laughs> you know NDA baby. Yeah, Chappelle <laughs> did a skit on that on the Chappelle show. Like yeah. they had a little quick NDA. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's, it's crazy, but I mean. To throw to have a type of life that you want and you can do the shit that you want to do, that gotta be fire though. You just yeah. gotta have a little book of NDAs, you know what I'm saying, to where you could flip page by page, you know what I no, mean, seriously. and just have them signed in the book. You and know what I would? You know what I would do? At, at, when you that rich, it just be like, look, here go a book. I want you to read these next few pages. Yep. Go ahead and sign it. I mean, you can look around if you want. You might not like what you see, but you know how the game go. You yep. know what I'm saying? Like I'm out you. What's happening? You know what I mean? My shit would be like a laminated whiteboard. Yeah. I would have mm. one NDA in like where the date is, you can use an expo marker, write the date in. I heard where that. the name's <laughs> at, sign her name, he signed his name, take a picture of it, wipe it off. Yeah, Next, yeah, yeah. <laughs> same date, same sign. You know what I'm saying? See, I had that little black book, you know what I mean? You could just stack that bit on the shelf, you know? <laughs> yeah. At the end of the day, yeah. you know, you got your record keeping, you know? Yeah. You be flipping through it, the woman be like, how many people have signed this? Don't worry about but that, sweetheart. Yeah, straight up, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about that, Mind sweetheart. Mind your goddamn business. <laughs> Hey, look, I told you the game, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, you, you decided to play. Yeah. All right, um, I'm going to try my best not to be on some Vlad shit. We was talking <laughs> about that. <laughs> <laughs> so how many NDAs did you have to sign with SpaceX? Uh, and how often did you have to sign them? So I had to sign, I believe, 
in total, in total, I think I probably signed like 14. Damn. That's a lot 14. of NDAs. But it don't be like for no snitch and tail type shit. Right. It right. just be, it be like indie, NDAs because like the country we're doing this shit for, they got a certain policy. Yeah. You know, we, they asking us to make sure that you're going to abide by this certain policy from this country. Right. So it's that type of shit, you know, right. like security level type shit. It ain't nothing to be like, hey, when you go in this party, put your phone in that bowl <laughs> and don't worry about shit else. Straight up. You, about you know what I'm saying? Freaky shit back You know here. what I'm saying? Put like, that phone hey, away. motherfucker hand you this card. It'd be like, hey, when you're ready to exit the party, put the card in the air. Motherfucker come escort you out. He had your phone, your keys, walk you to your car, see you on your way out. It ain't no, no, like, no shit like that. Oh, right. You know, like it's strictly based on like that country's policies, you know, so. Hey, we got some aliens back here. That ass. I need you to sign this real quick. Straight yeah. up. Like, yeah. Let us know, let people know that you did Elon not see ET. Elon went to Saturn the other week. <laughs> <laughs> he came back with grounds and you know what I'm saying? Like I need you to shut your fucking mouth. Don't you know say man? nothing. Just listen to a fucking album. Nah, I fucking I fucking wish it was on some shit like that. Like, hey, what you about to see, I need you to sign for it. Like, yeah. It's life changing it's when you right, see right, it. Right, 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 yeah, right. heavy men in black shit. Yeah. I swear. That's what I, I was mean, hoping for when I got in it. Especially when you went you know, out to Texas. That's what I really was hoping for yeah. out there. Like we, they building, they building a uh, shit called a starship out there, bro. Like it's a, it's a big ass fucking spaceship, bro. I could believe. Like it's, it's big as hell. It's crazy because the last one that I worked on, like with my hands, was the first one to land Elon on his about, test flights. Elon about to build a hotel in the sky. Elon already got that. Yeah, I about to say he already got that shit. He already oh, got damn. that. Elon, bro, it ain't shit that Elon not doing. Yeah. That's why I can fuck with him. Like, he got the type of money just to like chill out. Yeah. He ain't chilling out. If he ever get the tripping, I definitely pull the African American card. Like, hey, nah. bro, ain't you African American, <laughs> bro? What is you doing? Yeah, right what you now? want? Yeah, what, what, you want? what you got going on? Bro? But he gonna be the same motherfucker to turn around and look at you, but like, shit, what you talking about, my nigga? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably would. Then I then yeah. I have to slap. Him yeah. Then, then, what if he be like, "Hey man, shit about to happen. I'm bringing all. My, I'm bringing only my African Americans with me." Oh, oh bro. Then, then, he would turn it up, nigga. He would turn it up. I'd be like, "Hey, how many times are you gonna say, nigga? Just give me a full warning, nigga. yeah, so it don't catch me <laughs> off guard once you've reached your limit." You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Elon, right. Elon, you Elon your quota today. Like, look, we yeah. be on the spaceship, and he be like, "Nigga, nigga, nigga, <laughs> nigga." nigga. <laughs> got the little, like the little uh, baseball counter for pitches. You know steady clicking off on that bitch. <laughs> you go yeah. to breakfast, he be like, "Man, this nigga ain't cooked shit today." <laughs> <laughs> that's another yeah, one. That's another one. You know, motherfucker you just say wake he don't up. Don't sleep, so I be twenty three hours in. Like, say it one more time. Say it one more time, Elon. You say, hey, yeah, that's <laughs> crazy to get at three hundred billion dollars and then be like, I'm still gonna work about twenty hours a day. Oh, bro, and that's that's one thing I can respect about Elon. It ain't, I man say it ain't never too much. It's beautiful. It ain't never it's beautiful. too much. It's be, again, it's beautiful to see because so look like, at him build all of this from having started PayPal. Yeah, amazing. It's a, it's a genius. You know what I'm saying? Like it's genius. The only thing that I question though is like, hey, I get like why you made Tesla and shit, but like, where the fuck are all these lithium batteries gonna go? Like, what's yeah. gonna happen? Yeah, that's crazy. Like, what are you gonna do with a stockpile of Teslas? Right. What are you gonna do? Yeah, now nah, people, I don't, I don't know if you, you seen gotta it, blow but people, them bitches up, bro. Yeah. <sighs> people complain, and they, they apparently like the Teslas like bullshit cars. Apparently. Yeah. So a lot of people like they're like against Teslas, but are like. It's the perfect time to have Teslas with the down gas prices. I mean, prices. it is, it is, but that's what I'm saying. Like, what are you gonna do with them? Like, thought, everybody go get a Tesla right now. I'm gonna be honest. I thought you was gonna pull up in a Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> Tesla don't do shit for me. I heard you know that. what I'm saying. Tesla Straight don't up. do shit for me. Straight Tesla up. don't. Tesla don't. Tesla would do shit for me if it if it if it drove. You know what I'm saying? Like, once it get to driving itself, then I'd be like, you know. And I know it does. So I'm saying yeah. like that. That'd be the only feature that's. Nah, I'm just saying like that motherfucker don't pay my checks. 
and the, you know and the Netflix on, in the in the in the uh, whip and shit. That to shit have fire. to have a Tesla is like to have a lot of shit that you can't throw away. Again, like what are you gonna do with that right, car right. when you want to go grab you something else? So what are you gonna do with it? Yeah, you can't. You you. I guess you can scrap it for parts. What you gonna do with them two big ass batteries? Right. Throw them in the motherfucking landfill. That's bad. Yeah, yeah that's that's. A, I never thought about that. What the fuck? Yeah, what are you gonna do? Blow them bitches up. What are you gonna do, bro? Just shoot them bitches in the space. Hey, send them back to Elon. He'll figure it's a it lot out. of room up there. Straight up, you probably could. Let me ask you a question, man. You believe in aliens? Yeah, for sure. My nigga, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you my my take on it. Like, either that was some crazy ass type of drugs somewhere, but like, who the fuck sat up in their room and was like, hmm. This is what a vampire would be. This is what a werewolf I'd would be. I'd be thinking that too, yeah. Who did that? Yeah. Somebody had to see that shit mm. and was like, all right, that shit was real. Yeah. Wrote about that shit. That's how I feel about it. But it's a, it, it's also some sick twist. Now, see, like, some shit yeah, I could see. Like, a werewolf, you know, you see a big-ass wolf or a grizzly bear yeah. and be like, yeah. what if that was a man? Of course. You know what I'm of saying? Course. Like, of course. Now, a vampire... I could definitely see like, bruh, that being on some alien shit. Like where it come from? Cannibalism or some shit? Yeah. Um, oh yeah, it did start from something like that. Yeah, it, it, it came from something. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, damn, like what the fuck you find these words and shit for? You made a whole collective about it. Gave it Latin names and some more shit. Come on, man. Y'all put a lot of time into this shit. I think it's aliens because a lot of shit in 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 our society really isn't it explained. I think a lot of shit in our society can't be explained because like the world's ran by controlled chaos. Right. If you let all the masses know what what the fuck was really going on. Oh, bro, people will be there. Would be no law that that exists that would matter. Mm -hmm. It would literally be what majority of personnel follow you and listen to you. Right. And when it's time for the next motherfucker to step up and be like, hey, I think we should do this, they going to look to you and be like, you believe in him? If they had a, you know? if, if if they told everybody, it would be like the purge. True. Mm. True. That's what I feel. It's a, it's a controlled purge right now. You think so? Where the fuck are all of the homeless dead bodies from COVID? Where they bury these niggas at? Mm. That's interesting. You can't tell me New York is top for homeless people. LA, Cal California is top for homeless people. You had this many people die. Where the fuck are the homeless? This may sound crazy, but every year I feel like we always have like a, a random funeral home that gets <laughs> shut down because like they just got like, they go in their basement, they can find like 300 bodies or some you know shit like saying? that. So I used to think like, man, do they just be putting the bodies in these motherfucking funeral homes and like, hey, you gonna be the fall guy. We gonna give you about a couple million. Damn, that's crazy. You, we gonna shut you down, but we'll give you a couple million. I love you conspiracy get, talks. I learned so much. It's just crazy because it's like nigga, like it happened every year, just like in a random city. Yeah, like a motherfucker just be having like three hundred bodies in the funeral home. I'm like, how did you have yeah. that the many cumulative. bodies? And like, like nigga, how are you living with that smell, bro? Yeah, how do people just be? They were like, damn, where the fuck my relative at? Like, you like, think they getting the ashes? You getting sand and shit. Like, it's yeah, all kind yeah. of crazy shit speaking, be happening. Speaking of fucking ashes, it's this uh, video up on Twitter I just saw. Like, buddy, I think, like, his auntie was, like, throwing her husband's ashes <laughs> over the uh, over this bridge until, like, the water. But the wind blew. Oh, I seen it. And Buddy was in filming. Face. And Buddy was like, <coughs> damn, unk. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, bro, when I say I lost my shit when he say, damn, unk. <laughs> nah, that like, shit would have had me rolling, bro. bro I don't know if you peeped it to the side, but like somebody, like a big chunk of ashes went in their <laughs> mouth. I was like, oh, I would have threw up. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, nah, that would have fucked me up for sure. But hey, that's some good shit when you said with the COVID shit, bro. Like, where the fuck did they go? The shit I be thinking about. Like, like, where, like where a they mass go, bro? grave somewhere? Because you're not telling me. All right, we had a hundred thousand deaths right this week in in New York. Who the fuck are those hundred thousand people, and where are they list the names? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. And you telling me every single week you having twenty five thousand plus people die 
of COVID, when it was at its peak, not like not right now, yeah. when it was at its peak, where are these list of names? And I don't think those numbers were inflated. I think those were real numbers. So See, that's what like, I'm saying. Like, I don't know. Like, if you don't show me the list of the names and the bodies, like, I got to believe in inflation. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you show me this shit, now it's like, damn, do I believe in medicine? Mm. Yeah. You know? Do you think, like, maybe they were doing that just to keep people in the house? Like, you just said control shit. Like, yeah, for sure. Because them. I sure. don't know about you, but that shit had me spooked. So when I see it, was, like, it was. They're like, oh, 100,000 niggas getting, so, getting dying. I was like, all right, let me put this mask on. Let me stay the fucking house. So this is how I got to do my runs on the PJs. Because, like, we were classified as essential workers. So during the whole pandemic, I haven't missed a day of work, thank God. Yeah. You know, thank Elon for battling that shit in court and be like, hey, this is essential work. Mm. So I've been at work through the entire pandemic. So for us, like when the shit got so hot, it started like affecting airports and shit. Motherfucker was like, hey, I'm gonna get two more jets. And if these people aren't the top of the line people to be on these jets to fly down here to Texas or fly here to LA to make the difference for what we're pushing for, then don't send them. Shit, I had so many people calling out for me down, bro, in Boca Chica, Texas. Starbase, Texas, bro. Hey, we need Derek down here. Hey, we need Derek down here. So shit, I'm on a PJ. I'm on a PJ. I'm on yeah. a PJ. Right. Like, like when shit, I got so many videos and shit, bro. Like hearing rappers talk about like, hey, the PJ this, the PJ that. Like catching this, like catching this, like. Bro, once I started catching Elon's PJs, shit, I hit my wife up and was like, shit, I'm past the PJ shit. Like everywhere we fly, we're gonna fly first class now. Yeah, sure. Like definitely. fuck it. Like I done got experience to the PJ shit. We finna see what the first class joint talking about. Yeah. When yeah, we yeah. get used to the first class joint talking about, shit, we'll see what like our PJs yeah, that shit'll yeah. cost. Yeah. You know, but like sitting there on that PJ and being like, damn, it's really what you can fucking have. Right, like, right, shit. right. Shit. I say I'm finna I'm finna start doing and exploring what I can in my regular life now. Right. Like it really opened me up and be like, shit. I ain't sitting back there no more. Straight up. Shit, this is this is what you did. I, I want my water when I get on the plane. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't waiting till you push the little cart around. Right, right. When I sit down in this seat, hey, here you go, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. That's what I'm on now. But the P, he he introduced me to that. So again, shout out Elon for PJ, bro. It, yeah, yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Not everybody get the experience that. <laughs> nah, nah, bro. Nah, bro. Most people don't go nowhere, so. Shit. For real, yeah. You yeah. telling me shit? I'm yeah. from Little Rock, Arkansas, bro. Right, right. A lot of people that I knew and grew up with, like they still there. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Fuck with them heavy. Right. But they still there. You know what I'm saying? That's so, yeah. one thing. Um, you know, our community, we don't, we don't, we don't travel much. You know what I mean? Especially in the south, uh, as, as far as southerners yeah. go. We don't travel like far. We don't leave too far from mom. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's more like a cultural thing, dog. Like, I think that's some shit like from slavery that's like exactly. engraved in us. Yeah, yeah. If I leave too far from home, tragedy may strike. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. You know. Yep. So that's what I, I feel like that. But I mean, I got I got homies. Like, I got one homie. He moved out to Houston. Shout out him. Like, I was I was happy because like I I push. Right, 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 my circle, like I push my circle, like to go dare to be different. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying, yeah. like go be different. I got a homie from the sandbox. Shout out my nigga J Mac. He just got back from Jamaica. Or you know, took his girl, took his family and shit. Like go, yeah, you know, go yeah. experience. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you ain't gonna move from the state that you in, go experience shit and come back. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's yeah. That's, that's like feel. one of the things. Like I'm. I could I could easily move to another city if I want to, but it's like I like being here. So what I do is I just travel more. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. So I feel like that's the better. I I wouldn't say better, but I feel like that's a just as good of an experience. It's a it's a so this thing about Florida like it's a plus because you can go to New York, you can go to Chicago, you can go anywhere up north, uh, you can go hit the West Coast and shit. But every time you come back home, it's the same feeling. Yeah. Like if I go home, I'm knowing like end of September through January, it's gonna be cold. Mm -hmm. If I go shit May through August, it's gonna be hot. Right, right. Florida, shit, 
every, no matter where I go, it's still going to feel like 75 degrees in this motherfucker. Yeah. So that's a plus. Yeah. You know? So, like, for me, like, being from Arkansas, coming here, it's cool. Like, motherfuckers on a T-shirt every day. Yeah, yeah. Shorts every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, I love that. But would I rather be at home doing this type of shit? Mm. Hell yeah. Right. Yeah, if I was at the crib, I guarantee it would be 10 motherfuckers over there rolling big woods. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> big woods. Of course, if y'all would have them in here. Right, but right, But if right. you would, shit, some motherfuckers over there having a good time. But, right, yeah. You know, like, I have my my name is set up on my Instagram, Benny Tarantino dot scene. Right. The scene is for, like, scenes and movies. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have a lot of following that, like, live and like watch some of the shit that I do yeah. and they can't do it. Like for the PJ aspect, shit, my niggas can see me on the PJ. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? I'm sneaking, taking FaceTimes on the PJ like right. nigga. I'm on Elon PJ, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Steward is walk by, I gotta go. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like niggas living through me, but like right. it's a humble experience. It ain't like shit, hey, right. watch what I do. I've right, been right. doing all kind of boomerangs with the phone up like Man, yeah, it's a, I it's, was spun the chair around with, yeah, yeah. With, a, with a glass of wine. Just like, yeah. yeah, see, but that, that's one of them other things is like NDAs. Like, oh yeah, you know, you get to go on the PJ, you get a little email through, like, hey, I put your signature right here, like you'll yeah, be yeah. a part of it. Yeah. But that's one of them things. Like, Straight up. Straight up. I respect the NDA because some people just can't shut their mouth. Sometimes you got to flex, but sometimes people just yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why I say like I do it humbly. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, um, I um, mean, I would have took a picture of the little wine. And <laughs> like, yeah, this is shit they serve on Elon. PJ. Bro, so, so I took a uh, took a picture of a uh, can Gatorade. Yeah, I didn't know Gatorade what came the in. Fuck? A, yeah, I didn't you know. You mentioned that on the phone. Yeah. And I was like, can Gatorade. I'm like, Joe, bro, we got can Gatorade. That nigga was that like, we blew. switched from can Gatorades to the bottle. Yeah, I'm like, nigga, what? Like that you shit say blowing that, like my mind right grade. now, nigga. Hey. Can Gatorade? All right, so. Can Gatorade. <laughs> what? I, hey, when I say the shit better at the can, the you already know, you already know, like, out of your top three, red, orange, yellow. Yellow, that issue. I don't, I don't ever drink yellow Gatorade. That's why I say, I, that's why I say, out of the original, yeah. red, orange, yellow. Yellow, yellow that yellow, issue. Yellow Gatorade fire. That ice cold yellow is the issue. <sighs> Out that fucking can? Oh, that's crazy man. cause you know cause you know everybody be like oh juicy juice out the can fire yeah they be like uh the minute made lemonade out the can tastes yeah, better yeah, than yeah. out the yeah. down yeah minute so minute made does. out of bottle gross it's terrible yeah, it's not good it yeah that's just terrible. gross bro oh but, that, my God. but ice cold out that can yeah, yeah it's pretty good it's crack it's like but yeah fire. so uh we was on that bitch and like she came through like of course like it's a pj they ain't carrying no carts yeah. she come through with like the cool love white girl woven basket type shit. Right, right, right. You got checks mixed in it, Skittles in it, you know. Of course, them crazy motherfuckers, they got Fritos and shit. Like, who the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, it was like, yeah, Frito, Dorito and type shit. She got this basket. So I was like, shit, I don't want none of that. Like, you got something to drink? She's like, yeah. So she comes out, she got this little mobile fridge, pops the fridge open, it's can Gatorade. I said, I gotta hit this yellow motherfucker. <laughs> crack that yellow motherfucker. <laughs> Boop, boop. I said, ooh. <laughs> hey, I pulled a nigga moment. I said, ooh. She said, she said, sir, is everything all right? I said, yeah, yeah. yeah. I ain't never had canned Gatorade. And she was like, you guys don't have canned Gatorade down at the Cape? I'm like, I don't think so. Bro, got That's back crazy. from got back from LA like a month after that. Yeah. It was canned Gatorade at the Cape. Listen, as if you've ever had canned Gatorade, man, tap in and let us know, man. Cause I ain't hey, never I'm I don't think to see not me, my can, listen, had it. Can Gatorade. Man, oh my bro. fucking gosh. Can Gatorade. Bro. I would have been, man, I'd be like, I need about two or three more of these. Bro, I'll be fucking can Gatorade. Well, I used to I don't work there no more, but can Gatorade, yeah. I said exclusive. I don't even think Michael Jordan had can Gatorade. Yeah, fuck no. And he had a song. Bro. I mean, Smith ain't get can Gatorade. <laughs> bro, you know what I'm saying, bro? Can Gatorade. And then I'm sipping the can Gatorade. The windows on the PJ big than a motherfucker. Like, they ain't them little commercial, like, motherfucker big as hell. I'll show y'all on the phone after this. But, bro, the window in the video, you, I can't even get the whole window like on my phone camera. Yeah, yeah. Like it's bits and pieces of the window. The motherfucker's so fucking big, bro. 
Faster than a motherfucker, too. I believe. I was just about to say that shit faster than other jets. Yeah, yeah, it's faster than a motherfucker, too. I believe it. And yeah. another thing, like. Flew across the country in three hours. <laughs> type of shit. You know, we flew to LA in five. That's crazy. Five, five, six hours. That's I think that's an eight hour flight yeah. commercial. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was, it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. I've, I've, yeah, I've done that flight before. Knees screaming. Oh, yeah. man. Well, when we got off the plane last time, I was like, man, thank God we're here. <laughs> <laughs> usually when Florida, LA, I'm going to be honest, I like doing layovers. Yeah. Because I can't be on that plane. That's why I, that's probably one of the reasons why I haven't been overseas yet. Yeah. I just feel intimidated just being on a plane. They're like, oh, you got to be on a plane 12, well, see, 15 that's hours. A, that's a bigger plane, though. So if you go overseas, scratch all that shit you're used to. Okay. That's a bigger plane. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's a that's a different type of luxury. Okay. Yeah. So it's a it's a again a different type of luxury. Gotcha. It ain't it ain't that plane you catch from MCO to Charlotte. Right. It right. is not him. Right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's a different type of luxury. I'm glad you said it. Cause I'm like low key claustrophobic because that shit. Yeah. Because I want to go to Japan real bad. They were like, oh, you got gonna be on the. I was like, damn, man. But glad you told me that. Yeah, yeah, that's def- definitely a different type of luxury for sure. For sure, it's not a little bitty ass crop hopper. Like oh, yeah. you, you on a plane, plane. Right, you know, right. you on a plane, plane. It's a plane, plane. Yeah, that <laughs> it's a plane, plane for sure. Soul plane. <laughs> I wish that was a real thing. I would get on a soul plane. I don't know, bro. Spirit Airlines. Fuck you, mean. True indeed. True indeed. That's <laughs> old plane. Yeah. Spirit and Frontier. Yeah, you Man, get a together. Fade. Yeah, you get a fade every time ter- every time you go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bro, bro, just imagine imagine, right? Imagine if you got if you if you had to fight for your flight. Oh. Ooh, if you had to fight for first class seats. Ooh. Like, bro. You would pick your flights wisely. Yeah. Any any seat. Imagine if you ain't have to pay. You just had to run the fade. First off, first off, I'm gonna pay for a seat because I'm not finna be fading a nigga for 38A. True indeed. <laughs> At the back of the plane. True indeed. I'll see. That's I'm, not finna, I'm not finna be fighting no nigga for that. That's nigga. a real I'll catch that seat. next one. But At first shit, class. For them broke niggas, he be willing to fight you, On though. me, he be willing. I be like, bro, I'll pay for your shit, bro. Like, Calm you got down. It, bro. Yeah, like, this is yours. I don't even want it. <laughs> well, your name's still on it. You can have it. You, got you can it. be me your for name. that seat. Yeah, it is your yeah. name, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you can be me for that seat. Oh, like damn, when I'm flying to Philly, damn, I'm gonna be fighting for five minutes. <laughs> but El, how would you feel about fighting for a flight to Japan? I'll fight. I might scrap for yeah. a flight to Japan. Yeah. Right. So see, this could be a this could be a prosperous uh, model. We it got would. Spirit Spirit might might accept this. I don't they know. They set up a little ring they right passen- by the ticket booth. They passengers already fighting. That's what I'm you saying. That's what I'm saying. It's to the point now, Spirit, bro. Like you fight on Spirit, you could pull a seat up and fight. <laughs> you pull a seat up <laughs> on fight, bro. I ain't gonna cap to you. So I was, uh, I flew, I flew home, probably about a month and a half ago. But I flew home for like a week. But I ain't really know like when I wanted to come back, so I only had one way. Right, right. Well, shit, ended up just randomly, just one day wanting to come back to the crib. So I bought a Frontier flight, bro. <clears throat> sit down, sit down in the seat. When I sit down in the seat, the other seat rattles. So I'm like, yeah, what the fuck? So I get back up, sit down in the seat, other seat rattles again. I'm like, bro, what the fuck going on with this shit? We get to taking off. Ain't nobody beside me. We get to taking off, bro. Tell me why the seat flips up. Like, he like, damn, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> bro, the seat pulls up. It'd be a white man. He'd be like, damn, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bro, he like, that's my first time saying nigga. <laughs> Like, I usually don't use that word, but I had to. Elon Musk pop up. Yeah. And was like, Damn, Damn, nigga, nigga. <laughs> bro. I'm talking about the seat, bro. Like the seat cushion. Like you soon as we take off, uh, that bitch just coach. flipped back, bro. I said, "Damn!" I said, "Bro, it was like somebody was in the seat, bro. Like seat just flipped back, bro." I was like, "Damn, okay." Uh, I think that's um, 
for if in case of a crash, they they you can use the seat as a floating device. I mean, but the seat but, shouldn't be yeah, flipping back I was on takeoff. Say, <laughs> to see that would have definitely Bruh, fucked me. When up. I say it was just like a nigga like being damn, nigga. Bruh, I would have been doing videos like they do about these Teslas. I would have been like Frontier. <laughs> this was acceptable. This is what's this acceptable. Was acceptable. I <laughs> swear, bro. You know what it, I'm saying? The shit came yeah. up like a console. Put it like that. Yeah, nah. Nigga looking for them swishes. He pulled that bitch. Yeah. Up. I only did spirit one time. Oh, man, I ain't tall at all, so I'm on this shit. My knees on the seat. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, come on, bro. I'm come like, on, I'm like five eight, bro. Like, get what's going on right yeah. here. My knees screaming. I'm like, and this shit, this shit was like a fight to like New York or some shit. Mm. It was like maybe three hours. Yeah, I'm like, it's, nah, I ain't fucking with y'all no more. I'm just gonna have to pay that extra to do like American or something. Yeah, yeah. it's funny because every time I book a Spirit flight, I end up, um, I end up. Uh, having to cancel it or yeah. not taking it like when we uh was supposed well, when I was supposed to go to Vegas with y'all last year um I had to cancel that and I ain't get reimbursed so I was like fuck spirit Damn. yeah straight up fuck spirit nah, see, so me. um every time I fly I fly American okay American Airlines we Delta people I had yeah, I maybe Delta. maybe like Delta we Delta people for sure I had it Delta, Delta I, I did Delta when I was young, like a jet flying. Yeah, I did Delta a lot, but uh, as I got older, you know what I mean. I'm I ain't have no problems with Delta until like we went to New York, uh, probably two months ago now. Love New York, by the way. Uh, but yeah, like the fucking flight just kept getting pushed back. Like we probably had four or five pushbacks. Like we were supposed That's to crazy. be flying out at like nine, getting to New York at like 11.30. Yeah, I ain't know, but you can get compensated for shit like that. Well, too. we, you know, they, yeah. they asked and shit, but it, it wasn't what like I wanted. Right, right. You know, they right, sent right. a little survey, it was like, hey, would you take 350, 250, or 150 to move your flight? Yeah. Shit, they give you the little custom, and be like, what would you put in there? Yeah. My ass, I'm putting like 10 bands. Right, I heard that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that. shit, what you, what, what you want to change your flight? One. Zero, 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 zero. Right, right. I need 10 of them things. Right. Okay, like, sir, fuck out of here. That ass, and I'm pretty sure every time they get it, be like, this nigga. Right. <laughs> well, hey, shoot, set the bar high. Like, I would have put, let's negotiate at They got it. The, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they definitely got it. I was like, let's, 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 let's chop it up. That's what I'll put down there. Only people with that amount of money play with other people's feelings. Straight up. Yeah. You Straight know what I'm saying? That's why uh, Jeff Bezos made that tweet. <laughs> Talking about thank all my uh, Amazon warehouse workers. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate y'all, little niggas. Yeah, that's it. So let me ask you. This is my last question. I ain't. I ain't got no more questions after this. <laughs> Do you believe in artificial intelligence? Fucking sure. AI? Hell yeah. Yeah. You ever I, seen I Am Robot? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I we robot. Headed. Or hey, I robot. Yeah. That's that's what we had it. Now I'm peeking around. <laughs> I don't know if this was part of NDA, man. But what you? Some artificial intelligence at SpaceX? Not at SpaceX, but at the Boring Company. Okay. That's one of his other companies. Yeah, they they uh they they do AI shit. All right. Uh, gotcha. It's another company around here <coughs> um, called uh, L3 Harris. They do uh, AI shit. Yeah, I do believe in it. It's it's, it's a real thing, but they asking for the I, I robot type shit. Okay. Yeah. How you how close do you think they they are to pushing that out like uh, every day like robots? Robots Please. every day? Yeah. No time soon. What's the shit of uh, Jackson? What is it, Judy or something? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Judy, Judy, Judy was, was a the, Judy was a daughter. Judy right? was a oh, daughter. Oh, what's what's the robot? Uh, um, I can't remember. Don't ask me. What's I think the name started with an E or some shit like that. Anyway, I don't know. You had George Jetson. I, I'm I'm old, Judy. but I ain't that old. You I had the wife was named Jane. Jane. And you had was it uh, Elvira? I don't know. I don't I ain't know. No Elvira. No. Uh, the son's name started with an E. Oh, Elroy. Elroy. Yeah. Elroy Jason. Yeah. Mmm. We got the little robot, the little cleaner yeah. later. Uh, it's, it's, <laughs> the listeners watching right now, like these fucking idiots. Uh, oh, this joint, this joint live. Nah, nah. nah. Oh, I was like, I was like, damn, I ain't even know that shit. Nah, we'll lie. We'll let you know. The um, what was the dog's name? Um. Uh, I, can't I forget run. the dog. I'm gonna be honest. I ain't really watch Jetson. I was a, I was a Flintstone nigga. Little Flintstones, Flintstones, the Little Flintstones, Flintstones carried me. Yeah, I was a Flintstone. Flintstone, Flintstone, Flintstone was cool. I gotta find this name now. 
Like it's even gonna fuck to with today, me if I don't find it. Yeah. The Flintstones are is a great show. Like I, I, I probably spent two weeks watching all, almost every episode I could. You know what I mean of the Flintstones. Um, the dog name was Astro. Astro. Okay. Um, but I brought up the Flintstones to say that uh, their jokes are like jokes you can still relate to as an adult. Like yeah. yeah. As a kid, it was just funny to see Fred go through the shit. Yeah, I was watching, that's funny you say that, I was watching like a video like the other day, they was like, these cartoons, kid cartoons, but they were like really adult cartoons. Yeah, for exactly. sure. Like, yeah, like Shrek, Flintstones and Shrek, is a, Shrek is a fucking adult cartoon. Yeah, as yeah. Adult. yeah, for sure, for sure. I didn't know that as a kid. It wasn't right. until like, I got older, I was like, oh shit, this shit's funnier now on a different level. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But her name was Rosie. Rosie, I would've never guessed that. Me either. Yeah. I was thinking Betty. Uh, I was thinking an E name, but it was Elroy. Yeah, Elroy e. yeah, 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 Jackson. That's crazy, man. Yeah. But how close you think they are to pushing it out? You think it's gonna be like a long ass time? Yeah, AI, AI be it'll be it'll be a little minute, man. Cause I'm sure I'm sure like it's been people working on AI longer than them. Yeah. Right. You know that still ain't rolled out. Like now, like now you can hop on like I know on like my LinkedIn account, like it's a this chick that like she dances with like a robot arm. Every move that she makes, the robot arm move like that uh it's another like they had that shit since like 2000. right uh like you have um this other little company like the robots and shit like do bag flips and all this shit they run and shit so like i mean i don't know like when some shit like that roll out robots. yeah like i don't know when that shit will roll out but a robot doing the robot Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. They doing the Ooh. jerk and shit these days. <laughs> yeah. They like really dancing. It was bro. one company, they were trying to push out a, a AI robot and the robot was slapping them. They were like, all right, <laughs> we got to start from scratch. For real? Like that, yeah, she was slapping a fire out dude. That's that, That'll be scary though, bro. I don't think <laughs> bro, I want to see that. be scary as fuck. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see artificial intelligence like, moving day to day with us. Nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah. Nah. I, I'm interested in it. I watch a lot of this shit, but like, roll that out when I'm gone. Yeah, like I want to be able to drop kick a, a a robot and know that it that bit ain't gonna wake up tomorrow and strangle. You know me. what I'm saying? Or know that that bitch ain't gonna catch your kick. Right. Yeah. Very you know? true. Like that. That's the type of shit. Like, I don't, I'm cool on that. I don't want to see that. Be shit. like, what are you doing? Well, if that shit gets so smart, they're like it, it know what you about to do. Like, don't you think about it, bro? Look for at the, real, bro. <laughs> look at Siri. Look at the algorithm right now. You could talk. We could talk about fucking wing stop, Gatorades or some shit right, right now. And when guarantee you when phone, you open up your phone or an app or some shit, yep. it's gonna be about wing stop, yep. a Gatorade. Yep. Why do I want a living robot to be able to access shit like that right. exactly. from a conversation that I did not have with him, bro? Yeah. It'd be something. You know, be it'd be something you'd be thinking. Yeah, you didn't even say it. <laughs> see what I'm saying? That shit pop into your your feed, and it's. I like, mean, he he Elon with the boring what company. Are you doing? They they putting chips in like animals' heads and shit, but he doing it for like he's saying he's doing it for like music purposes. So like, if I want to play the Drake album, all I gotta do is <laughs> think about the Drake album, and that bitch start playing in my head. <laughs> so a goat gonna say, man, let me play let me play that new Kendrick. <laughs> Boy, come on, man, put that new Kendrick on in my shit. <laughs> Bah, I want to hear damn. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? Fuck they talking about. <laughs> shit. <laughs> shit. That motherfucker, that motherfucking goat listening to Kendrick. You know what that, I'm saying? The goat being selective is <laughs> hilarious. Hey, the goat know exactly where I'm going to fuck. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I don't want to hear the new shit. I want That's damn funny. only. You know, put that shit on that was banging in the slaughterhouse. <laughs> like, Straight <I'm> up. <laughs> You know what I'm they put took that my new, cousin to this. Yeah, put that new 21 on. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, they, fuck they talking about, man. man that's crazy. That's, yeah. that's insane, man. But yeah, definitely. Joe, you believe in artificial? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely do, man. I definitely yeah, you, do. You want to fuck with it or? Nah, no, nah, nah, I don't. Because I... I <laughs> Like I don't want that bit to be trying to arm hey, wrestle man. me and shit. You the know robot, what I'm saying? robot like, help you make the rugs. Uh, what? Ooh, if, if, uh, uh, we be in the game. I be I be a capitalist. I could do robots with no hands, no legs. Mm. Like the little hover rounds that go around the crib and shit. I can do them with like AI. Yeah. Hey, make sure today you get that that master bedroom. Right, right, right. All right, thank you, sir Benny. And go get that master bedroom. I had one of them little what are they called the Roombas. I had yeah. one of them. I gave that shit to my mama. That shit was 
It was cool, but it was like, all right, let's get this out of the crib. It's too much. <laughs> I like pride myself because I like. This shit too I'm bougie. Real, I'm real tech savvy. I love technology. Yeah. But like, I had got the Lexus, I got the, all the shit, the ring lights and all that. And then, like, after a while, I was like, bro, this is just too much. Let me just da- dial back with some of the shit. Yeah. I got the Lexus in the crib. I got them shits unplugged. So. For yeah. real. Like, you just be chilling. I watch a lot of wrestling. So it's a, le- a wrestler named Alexa Bliss. Yeah. So I'm watching wrestling. They saying her name. The next thing you know, that shit just scaring the fuck out of me. That shit coming I be, on. I be sleep. Uh, uh, I be sleep. Next thing you know, you just hear the Alexa talk, waking me up out of yeah. my sleep. I'm like, all right, bro, let's, let's get Somebody, this out of here. Yeah. Somebody had an Alexa I was around once and, um, it caught me off guard because everything was quiet and I heard her say, what do you need or something yeah. like that. Man, I was like, look, you got ghosts in here or something? Like, you got a, ch- <laughs> a, a, a woman hidden? Yeah. You, know, you need to let me it's, know. It's different, something. it's different, bro, because like uh, my my wife, mom had gave her an Alexa, right? And like, I was, <clears throat> I ain't never been keen on no shit like that. Like voice command, I don't like that shit. Yeah, nah. Yeah. Like that shit that that lets me know like that motherfucker always listening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's listening for the motherfucker to say his name. Right. Yeah, exactly. Ain't no telling how much motherfucking information that oh, shit got on it. I maybe sure you know a Siri twice in my life. Yeah, like you know, so like when she got it, I was skeptical about using it and then like the way she was using it, I was like, all right, I can use it like that. So like she'll fly back at home, I'll be at the crib by myself. Like I'll be in the living room and I'll be like, Hey, Alexa throw on that new future. You know, she'll play the future. But when she get to asking questions like, hey, do you want to check your notifications? Uh, you got new e Bitch, shut up. Yeah. I ain't asked you about none, none of, that. of that. Yeah. <laughs> I can do that on my phone. I ain't asked you about none of that. Yeah, do you want to play future every Tuesday now? You know you know At what I'm saying? Like, like, come on, no. man, cut that shit out. I know what time it is. I don't need you to tell me what time it is. Straight up. Yeah, I don't, I don't really fuck with that shit like yeah. that. Yeah. I used to think people like being really paranoid with that shit, but like, nah, that shit listening for real. Oh, it's definitely listening. It's like, definitely you should, listening. Like, you got to be naive not to believe that shit at this point. Uh, Darius brought up a good point on Twitter. He was talking about how Instagram, like, <clears throat> knows the kind of woman you like. It's an algorithm, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, for, yeah, sure, yeah for sure. It's an algorithm for sure. And they just drop that shit in there. Bro, look at your Explore page right now. It's yeah. everything you look at. Yeah, yeah, it's everything you're looking for. It's everything, everything, everything you, you click on. Yep, yep, yep. Right now, I'll give you this. Like baby, baby, no, I like I like bitches with baby hair. Yeah. <laughs> so if you go on my, I like bitches with baby hair. I like looking at houses. I like looking at places to go in sports. Mm-hmm. You know, if I click on my explore page, it's probably gonna be a bitch on there with baby hair. Mm-hmm. Some tropical ass island floating around. Right. Some sports highlights, or like some uh fucking uh. I say something else, but yeah, that should be on there too. Instagram gonna turn into a dating app. It's already a date yeah, now. Yeah. Facebook a date now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just found out the other day, like I was just swiping through my DM, and then, like that bitch went like the vanish mode or some shit. It's like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, my shit did like that. hide the whole conversation. Yeah, my shit did that on accident. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? that's what I'm saying. I was just scrolling through that broke, bitch, bro. I was in vanish mode all the time, and I'm like, look, man, that ain't me. Don't don't <laughs> that pay, don't <laughs> bro, that shit no That mind. shit crazy. I was like, bro, what the fuck is vanish mode? Like, what <laughs> you the? Like R. Kelly, that ain't me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I need <laughs> some help. <laughs> Yeah, that shit, bro. I don't, I don't like that shit. All this new shit that they coming out with is like, but no, it's weird, bro. Like, you can't even go outside your crib and like speak to a lady no more. Yeah. Or like, speak to nobody. All right. Like, right. the first thing I want to know is like, damn, how you know me? Mm-hmm. You're a neighbor. Right. Exactly. I don't got to know you to speak. All right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, the world just so crazy. Not even right now. It's always been crazy. I think we just so much more like, aware you yeah. know yeah uh, with For social sure. media being able For to sure. see everything in real time so you you hear about something that happens miles away from you and the first thing you think is damn that could happen you know here yeah I, I met somebody that that reminded me of this situation yeah. or something like that you know that's so, why I like music so much yeah like I'm a music like outside of like the shit I do with like my company like I help I'm basically like a quality ear for like three, four artists back at the crib. Like yeah. When they ready to drop new shit and I ain't there at the studio, shit, they drop boxing, they air, they uh, air dropping this shit to mm-hmm. me. Yeah. 
So I'm just listening to the music. Right, That's right. So, you know, like it's it's a it's crazy. Like I I know for a fact, like, if the money was crazy right now, yeah. It's like three, four motherfuckers I signed back at the crib. I hear that. And we'll turn we'll turn we'll turn Arkansas up musically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shit, that's what I'm working on. That's why I'm oh, staying yeah, comfy. Stay comfy. Okay. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? It's gonna get there. I yeah, gotta get yeah. there. Straight up. You know, I gotta get I gotta get there. Like Straight them, up. Them. Slowly but surely, yeah. Bro, it's is I'll put y'all boys on on onto some on, but like hey, shout out my boy Rampage Wood, shout out my nigga BT, shout out my fucking A1 Nino, shout out yeah. the RF family, shout out unemployed records, shit, shout out KP, shout out Lexus Ray, shout out motherfucking Snipe, shout out uh What's shorty name? KZ Blaze, shout out Kerry Fox. Uh, fuck, uh, so many of the motherfuckers. Shout out 1100 Fats. 1100 Fats getting played by motherfucking Detroit motherfuckers. Word. Shit, shout out my nigga Space the Wizard. He just, he on Babyface uh, Ray album right now. He on tour with Baby, Babyface Ray right now. Yeah. He's going crazy. Arkansas going crazy musically right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like, it's going to take somebody to yeah, put yeah. everybody Kick. on. That, that's, yeah, a, yeah. that's a humble being and like, yeah. I want that to be me. Like right. I want that to be me. Right. Like motherfuckers. Like we had a funny ass nigga that was. I think he's from the city, but like two three years ago, he like he called himself like the nip of the city. The shit was hysterical. I feel like every every city got like, that. You know what I'm saying? Like the shit was like, bro. Like why would you say some shit like that? My thing be like, let these souls rest. Like ain't, ain't nobody got to be Tupac. Ain't you nobody know what I'm saying? Gotta be big. Like that ain't. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be like motherfucking Jay Prince. You know, I'm trying to be like Elliot Wilson. Right. I'm trying to be like the motherfuckers that these artists see that's like, yo, he don't do what we do sonically, but he understand what we doing sonically. Right. Like every direction he points us in, it's like leading us to a better sound, a better type of way that we listen to our own type of music. You know, like that's that's big. That's big. Shout out my nigga 10, 10, my nigga 10 from, uh, I think it's Hollywood, Florida. Mm. Something like that. He moved to the bitty. He do music. He, tough, tough, real street nigga. Real street niggas, shout out them. Uh, I probably forgot, I probably forgot some, but. No, you did amazing. They, yeah, 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 you did a great yeah, job, especially hey. out <laughs> man. Yeah, oh, yeah, that. bro, it's 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 crazy. When I got a name shit off, I, I stop at five. I'm like, bro. <laughs> everybody, I be like, everybody else? No, oh, you are. I fuck with you. Hey, look, I give a general blanket statement. <laughs> I fuck with now, I wanted to be. I wanted to be personal. Like this, you know my first time, with. my first time being being on something like this. So, like, I want again. Like, I want the video to be here as a collective. Right, right, right. Motherfuckers tap into this shit. They know, like, hey, Banny, like, it's a genuine motherfucker for sure. Like, and the shit, the shit from the heart. Like, if I can help everybody out, I help everybody out. Bro. Right, right. Like, no, I really I believe I'm here to pay it forward. That's what I'm trying to do. You dope, man. You came all the way up here to <laughs> fuck with us, man. We yeah, straight up. We appreciate you, that. Hey, yeah. I fuck with y'all boys. This yeah. was an amazing episode. Um, For sure. I hope I ain't prematurely ending it. You had another question? Nah, man. I think <laughs> Benny done a great job of uh, explaining his 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 uh, yeah. journey yeah. <laughs> through the space. And, um, you know, yeah, when I come up with some more questions, we got to come back through. Yeah, yeah, say less, about we, we got to do company. a part two. Benny down to do a part two. Come on. Yeah. I swear. So this your time. Plug everything. Talk about your company one last time. Do everything. Yeah, man. You can follow me on uh, Instagram at Benny Tarantino, period scene. Uh, Benny Tarantino, just on Twitter. Uh, you can follow us at uh, the Stay Comfy Company worldwide. At uh, That's on Instagram. Uh, also, Stay Comfy, uh, Stay Comfy worldwide on Twitter. Um, but, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. We're going to go into production June June 29th, so we should be ready to drop August, mid August. My birthday in October, so I might just say fuck it, it dropped in October. Mm. You know, uh, me and Drake got the same birthday, by the way, so that's why <laughs> I'm hella biased with the OVO. Drake shit. Yeah, OVO to the world blow. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, man, shout out to all my guys, man. If I miss your shit, you know it's good. You know I love you, but yeah, shout out. Uh, I got some crazy kicks on, some crazy drum one. Shout out to Sweet Feet Kicks. My nigga Casey Johnson, shout out to him. He give me, he give me right. He keep me laced. For sure. For hey, sure. Anybody that he forget, we are gonna do that part two. He gonna get y'all next time. Yeah. I'm gonna get y'all. I know y'all gonna tap in with me. Oh yeah, shout out my nigga JG. JG just dropped his new motherfucking album. JG Stackhouse. Uh, shout out my nigga Q. 
Q uh, got some crazy hats that he done dropped and shit too. Uh, shit, I can go for days. Shit, shout out my nigga Cass Fun. Right, she got her right. own set, formal set, high quality shit. She look like Prada, no cap. Uh, again, my nigga Uno, Uno Kim, bro. Shout out RevivedMinds.com. Big time, man. We Arkansas moving in a big way. We really out here, but don't know, can't nobody pinpoint us on the map. Salute Arkansas. I'm here to I'm here to make sure they pinpoint us on the map. Right, right, right. Yeah. Hey man, it's been another episode. Brand the Max Podcast. Tap into the Patreon, Patreon. Dot com. com slash Ario Podcast. Tap into the YouTube page, youtube.com yeah. slash random X of podcast. IG, Twitter, Ario Podcast. Once again, salute to the big homie Banny. Yeah. Pulled up on us. Yes, sir. Another classic episode. We just on a crazy run right now. Like, yeah, man. We're not it's missing. Been hell of a tear. We, we ain't missing it. Y'all going crazy. Y'all going crazy for sure. Y'all going crazy for sure. So, yeah, we appreciate you coming through again. I'm going to sure. shake your hand on camera, man. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Amazing appreciate episode, y'all, boys, man. man. You said first podcast, right? First podcast. First it's my podcast. first one. It's my hey, first man, one. man, and this was a great podcast. Kill. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. now we can pop some bottles. With all that said, man, we out. Yeah. Yeah.